Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 30th of 2023. Well, it is titled orbits of potentially hazardous asteroids. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our inner solar system and we see the sun there at the center, the yellow dot, which is not labeled. And then we see the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars and Jupiter out there towards the outer end. Now, all of the other little orbits going in there are orbits of what are considered potentially hazardous asteroids. These are asteroids which could come within with it close enough to Earth to cause significant damage. So what they are are asteroids that are at least 140 meters across and that will pass with seven, within seven and a half million kilometers of Earth. So these are all those asteroids, at least a thousand of them that are more than a thousand that are known that could possibly strike Earth. Now, based on orbits, we have none that would strike Earth within the next 100 years. However, that's not meaning we're safe for 100 years because not all of them have been detected. Many of these objects are extremely dark and are very difficult to detect. They don't they don't reflect a lot of light so that they don't are not easy to get their orbits and to track their orbits. They also can pass close to other objects, other asteroids, which could deviate their orbits and cause them to change very slightly. But that slight change could build up over time. So while we say we're safe here based on these for 100 years, there are still others that could be discovered. Now, when an asteroid impacts the Earth, how much damage it does depends on its size. We get hit by debris from space all the time. Much of it burns up in the atmosphere and we see these little bits as shooting stars. Other objects strike the ground or the ocean and do little or no damage. However, when you get to larger objects, they are the ones that can start to cause some damage. Something 100 or 200 meters across could cause very significant local damage around the area where it hits. And ones much larger than that could actually cause global catastrophes. And this has happened in the past. Of course, one of the best known ones was 65 million years ago, which was a large impact that is believed to have, have uh, caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. So we have been hit by large objects in the past and we will be hit by large objects in the future and tracking them like this helps to give us some warning and perhaps to be able to deflect an asteroid that we find that may be coming toward Earth. And in fact, we had last year the double asteroid redirection test, which was to change the orbit slightly of an asteroid. And that would be a potential a thing we could do if we knew of an asteroid well enough in advance to send something out there to just give it that little nudge so that it would no longer hit Earth. Now, while it looks like Earth has a major cross section here, I should say that the size of Earth here is nowhere near to scale. Earth would be a microscopic dot relative to the size of the sun that we see here. So while it looks like Earth is would constantly be getting bombarded, we have to remember that Earth is much very, very overestimated in terms of its size here, as are the other planets to kind of bring out where they are located. The same would be true of the asteroids. Those lines are way too thick to actually represent the asteroid size itself. So that was our picture of the day for June 30th of 2023. It was titled Orbits of Potentially Hazardous Asteroids. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.